Well, the brown trucks will continue to roll. Your boxes will keep showing up on your doorstep. No strike as UPS nationally reaches a tentative deal. The strike would have upended deliveries and had a huge impact on one of Louisville's biggest employers. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Shay McAllister. The Teamsters called the agreement historic, including better pay, better benefits, even air conditioning in the delivery trucks. WHAS Levin's Travis Breeze has been following the negotiations. Travis, what else stood out to you on this deal? Shay, the Teamsters released a list of highlights from the contract around noon, and the headline was no concessions. The union saying that it got everything that its members wanted. The union also said UPS put $30 billion in new money on the table for this contract. The contract will reportedly feature raises of $275 per hour for full and part-timers in the first year and $750 more an hour throughout the life of the five-year contract. Part-timers will get no less than $21 per hour, up from the current starting wage of $16.20 today. The average top rate for truck drivers is increasing to $49 per hour. This builds on the other changes that were already agreed upon earlier this month, such as the removal of the two-tier system that paid drivers less if they worked weekend shifts. UPS workers had been doing practice pickets across the country this month to prepare for a possible strike. Teamsters General Secretary Fred Zuckerman, who worked for Local 89 in Louisville, said, In my more than 40 years in Louisville representing members at Worldport, I have never seen a national contract that levels the playing field for workers so dramatically as this one. UPS declined an interview but sent us this statement from CEO Carol Tomei saying, quote, this agreement continues to reward UPS's full and part-time employees with industry-leading pay and benefits while retaining the flexibility that we need to stay competitive, serve our customers, and keep our business strong. Both the National Teamsters and Local 89 have not responded to our request for an interview at the moment. Voting on this tentative contract will be August 3rd through the 22nd. In the studio, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side.